Welcome everyone. This is Mundan Raghavan. And in this series, we are going to see what is Playwright and what are the different test automation features that we have in Playwright and how to work with Playwright. So as part of this video, we are going to see the introduction part of Playwright and we are going to see what are the different features that Playwright can offer us. So let's start with video. First of all, what is Playwright? If you are already working on the test automation area, you would be knowing Selenium is the pioneer in that area. However, Playwright also a new framework used for web automation testing as well as it supports the API testing. Then it has the different features or you can tell in other words, it overcomes what are the different problems we have in Selenium or other tools such as like a Cypress. However, we will understand first of all, what are the Playwright features, then we will go in the different area. First of all, it uses the Chromium Firefox WebKit as a browser engine. So it supports this kind of browser engines. It is a slight difference when compared to the browsers actually. Whereas earlier scenarios are in the current automation areas, we are using the browsers and the driver files for the different browsers. However, it directly works on the browser engine. The browser engine is nothing but the core object or let's say core software which will be used in the different browsers. For example, you can consider the latest browsers such as like Microsoft Edge, Samsung Internet, Opera. These are the other browsers will be using the Chromium as the browser engine. Whereas Firefox browser will be using the Jico driver and the Safari browser will be using the WebKit engine, right? So these are the different browsers, but browser engine will be the different, that will be the core part. That means that using a single browser engine, you might be having the different browsers. That's what we have seen by using the Chromium. We have the Microsoft Edge, we have the Chrome browser, and we have the Opera and so on. So that is the first benefit that we can get out of the Playwright. And one more thing interesting is like you don't need to install anything and you don't need to do it by configuration for let's say different browser, different drivers. There is no driver concept here. So by default, it runs on all the three browsers or three rather than telling browsers, I can tell the three browser engines. Even the good part is like it supports the different devices also. And second point about the auto wait. The very, very paining point about the automation is like synchronization between your web application and your normal Java code or let's say Selenium code or whatever the code you are writing, right? So the playwright supports the auto wait. That means that you don't need to write a single code just to wait for the element to be present, to be visible, to be active. So those scenarios will be automatically taken, by, taken care by the auto wait. And next point will be automatic snapshots and video. In current scenarios, we will be writing a different steps to take the snapshots or even in the best scenario, we will be having the utility to take the snapshots. But here, even it will be taken care by the playwright automatically or by default. So just to unity, enable some configuration in your playwright configuration file, it automatically takes the snapshot for every test. Same goes to the video. Let's say if you want to take the video for the entire execution, end to end execution, you need to have a different third party libraries in case in your current automation. But whereas in Playwright, you can just enable one configuration, then you will have the video in your hand. Then other points such as like a frames, multi tabs, multi windows. So these are again still supported by the Playwright, whereas Cypress tool will not support these things in direct way. Whereas there are some other alternatives, but you need to put some effort on that. But in Playwright, by default, it will support the frames, multi-tabs, multi-windows, and so on. The best part is it supports TypeScript, JavaScript, Python, .NET, and Java. Because when I having uh, when I'm having the Selenium and Java combination, I was seeing the Cypress as a good alternative. However, Cypress has some disadvantages, like it is not supporting the frames by default. It supports only the JavaScript. Whereas in Playwright, if you are from the TypeScript, JavaScript, Python, .NET, Java, you can use any language as per your convenience. And API request and response mocking can be done. Some of the special scenarios where you don't need to do some activities manually every time, which is like a preconditioned scenarios, you can do that activity by using the API request and response mocking. Even some scenarios, special scenarios, you can help the developers by mocking the response or blocking the request. And Tracer Viewer is the very different tool that I can see because it's trace everything that you have in your automation. It has the before snapshot, after snapshot, it has the entire request and response details. You can tell the entire journey of your execution will be captured in the tracer viewer. So that is a special tool I can see in the play, right? And code gen tool, it is something like a record and playback. And the best part about code gen is like, it is generating the code in a different language as we discussed. It's not only supporting, it is generating the code as well. 
and the inspector tool obviously the inspector tool will help you to find the locators of the different web elements obviously if you are start recording and getting the code even you don't need to see the locators because it automatically captures all the locators even with comments and even with assets by default because some recording tool it will record only the actions that you are doing but in playwright code gen tool it actually captures all the steps in the programmatic way at the same time it creates the commands it creates the assets as well so that's the beautiful part about the playwright and web page into the pdf format so for example you have some long web page you want to convert into the pdf it is something like i feel like extra utility which is present in the playwright it converts your entire page into a pdf file you don't need to scroll down automatically scroll down also will be taken care by the playwright so these are the good things i can see in the playwright but here it is like a theory we can see some of the architectural design and what are the different internal side of the playwright so architectural it generally it is creating the connection in a web socket way so that means that if you are not from let's say networking area or if you are not about the protocol area it's simply making a web socket so that means that there is only one request and it makes the connection between your playwright and the test and there is no again request and response scenario it always have the like path it always sends and receives in the same web socket so that means you don't need to make multiple requests when you see with your uh, let's say selenium concept you will come to know how it is different from the selenium and other framework but it looks very simple so your test case you are making the web socket connection to the playwright and the playwright will interact with the different browser engines and i am mentioning the reference here in the last page also i will mention the reference in the same way i will mentioning the reference in the description as well you can go through the articles and you can understand more on the web socket how it works it is just for our reference the current selenium architecture works in the different way which is using the wire protocol i mean simple a json wire protocol over the http and every command will be considered like a request and response here you can clearly see so there is a http protocol which connects to the browser driver there is an intermediate so which is a driver and it is connecting to the browsers and it is doing the request over the http protocol so this is the difference between your current selenium architecture and your previous let's go to the previous one the playwright but however in end user perspective we may not uh, we may not uh, we may not understand this entire thing in the first sight but however if you see the execution you will see the difference how fast it is and more information here you can see so in the normal http handshake it will be http handshake and it will be having the forward and reverse request and response but whereas if you see the web socket it is a full duplex persistent connection so that means that you don't need to make connection again and again it will be the standard path you always your all commands goes front and forth so we will go to the next one so this is a, some topics that you may be interested for example what is browser engine what is the browser in simple browser engine is the core component of every web browser and there are major three core i mean core browser engines you can tell uh, let's say jquo driver chromium and webkit which is uh, already we discussed and there are other articles that you can understand for something like uh, how the browsers can be handled in the playwright or let's say what is the different uh, between the browser engine and the browser okay and what is the let's say web socket versus the normal http protocol so these are some articles if you are interested you can go through that so now coming to the end in summary so playwright looks like a very promising tool and it has lot of features which are like a disadvantages in other tools such as like a cypress selenium still it is a growing tool so we are going to explore this tool from the scratch so it is only the introduction part in coming video we are going to install and we are going to see the different aspects of the playwright and we will decide how good it is and how can we create the different framework for reusability as well so this is all about this video so thanks all thanks for watching and have a great day